Well, we've heard that age-old debate. If a tree falls in the woods and nobody's around to hear it, does it make a sound? We'll never know. But one thing we will know after today's segment is what the inside of a tree looks like and how the inside of that tree can tell you about how old it is and maybe even how to manage your land. I'm standing here with a little blue colored tool that's called an increment bore that you two at home can get one of these guys. And what I want to do this month is show you how this tool can be used to extract something from a tree and tell you how old it is without even needing to cut it down. This little increment bore has got three parts. And before we go inserting this into a tree, I want to show you this little guy. This is called a spoon or a little extractor. Very important part of what we're going to be doing today. Also inside of this guy is a little auger. It's like a little drill bit that we are going to put into this tree. I'm going to use this fancy thing that is a very academic word called a handle <laughs> that we're going to put this into, screw this into the tree and take out what looks like a little core, a little dowel rod, and we're going to determine how old the tree is and some of the history behind it. So join me. Let's go do that with the tree right now. So a lot of people don't know it, but my background is actually in forestry. So being able to be out in the woods today with you and show you how to use one of these things called an increment bore is so cool. And you can do this at home too. So I've put the auger, the little bit part, into the handle, very sophisticated term. And I've got my little extractor, my little spoon, which is basically just a long piece of metal that has a little trough in it. I'm going to use him in a second. I'm going to put this guy in at about four and a half feet off the ground, which us foresters call diameter at breast height, DBH. I'm going to put this guy into the ground right here, and I'm going to start grinding it in. One turn at a time, and I'll put this right in my vest. You don't want to lose that little extractor there. Kind of expensive part. Let's start screwing this in here. One turn at a time. And through the magic of TV, we're going to kind of speed this up a little bit. <laughs> I'm really working my arms on this one. I'm going to start screwing this guy in like this. And I'm going to do this until I reach a certain point in the tree. And in fact, I'm going to use my little extractor, this little spoon thing whoop, that I put right here in my pocket. I'm going to use this to determine how deep in I need to go. So I'm going to kind of use this to measure and see whether I've hit the center or the pith of the tree yet. Got a little bit further to go. I'm going to screw a little bit more. Remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. Put that guy in there. I want to get through the center, but not all the way through. And let's stop it right there. Now, I want to take this little guy right here, my little extractor, my little spoon, and I'm going to flip him over upside down. I'm going to put him into this little hole right here. Whoop. All the way up till it's flush. And then I'm going to turn it one turn the other way. Now that little trough is sitting up like a little basket, and I'm going to pull this out very slowly. And this is the magic part. Take a look, and I wish you were here to smell this. Take a look at how beautiful that little core is that comes out of the tree. And you can see right there is the center. That's the pith. And we go all the way out to the bark. Now, in a second, I'm going to show you how do you read this and determine how old it is and what this little core can tell you about the history of your land. So let's go check that out now. So I can show you some things along this guy, and I've got my pencil here to point to it real up close. First of all, this is where that little tree started growing. This is the pith. This is where his life began, his or her life began. Right here, I'm going to go from right in the center and count out to the edge of this orangish piece and get to one year. And then I'm going to count out and go to here and get to two, three, four, five. And you can see as you go along, we've counted this ahead of time. It's about 30 years old. And the really cool thing about this is you'll see that there's a wider distance between some rings and a closer distance between others. And what that tells us is the wider the distance, the better the growing conditions for that tree. So that year was a really, really good year. The tighter the rings, the slower it grew. And maybe back then there was a drought. Maybe we needed to fertilize then or clear away some competition. So this really does tell us a tremendous story about your forest on your land. And it goes all the way out there to the bark. So that's a really, really cool thing. I'm going to encourage you to do this on your land. People even do this with old log cabins. They'll drill into those logs and see how old those logs were to determine maybe how old that cabin is. That's cool. And every once in a while, you'll see a ring that has some black on it or that has some nicks in it. And that's maybe where there was insect damage or a fire that came through. It's a little history story in this little core. Well, y'all know what to do. 
hop online, check out the Ranger Nick Facebook page because we're going to wrap this one today and check out the Farm Monitor Facebook page while you're online. And until next time, as always, for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick, reminding you that enthusiasm is contagious. So pass it on. Y'all, I had a blast on this one. We'll see you back here next month. See ya.